Okay, so today I will start, today is my 24th day after hip replacement, um, recovering from hip replacement surgery. So today what I will start is with, with the most challenging exercise, which means straight, li uh, straight leg lift while on the floor, while lying on the bed. First I will demonstrate how to safely go. After 24 days, I think we can safely attempt to go down on the floor. So we don't want to bend this uh, yet uh, at 90 degrees. You don't, we don't want to take any risk. This is how I lie down. We can lie down straight in a row, but I am basically turning towards camera and hands under the buttocks and then straight leg lift up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, take a little break, relax the muscles. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ish, ten. Ah. Okay, uh, then use the elbows to stand up, then around, on the knee, and up, we safely up on the, uh, from the floor. The second exercise, as usual, the lifting of the knee. I'm using a hammer at home, today is raining, so I cannot go to the park. Um, holding the chair for balance instead of, instead of cane, and the knee lift up to the chest. And also using the other knee to lift up. Why I'm doing this? Because we simply need to balance both sides. We cannot have uh, one side work out and then the other side during our time of recovery is not being exercised at all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and balance one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, slower, three, four, five, try to hold the leg, uh, and other leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the second exercise. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. Be careful if you're balancing on the uh, uh, recovering leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, forty, and one, slowly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and and next ten. exercise straight leg lift which is similar to um, to leg lifting on the floor and the knee to the to the chest or knee simply up so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty and other leg balancing carefully on the on the recovering one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so basically in this exercise what i'm feeling is when i'm balancing on my operated leg uh, there is a still slight pulling kind of pulling of the muscles and i have to really lean on my right side because i don't feel i can keep balance the leg is kind of unstable from the inside from what we call in chinese the qua region around the hips okay and to finish to uh, finish the uh, balancing all body or basically making straight all body with the push-ups as i did in a park of course we don't even need to do push-ups we can just hold that position so again how to go safely on the ground very similar to the pre uh, first exercise straight leg down hold it don't bend make this angle between the leg and the body kind of straight you can go on hands because of my habit i go on my fists balance first up make sure you are stable and then keep your body straight and you can hold that position legs slightly spread hold that position or do very shallow push-ups one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine 30. And you can, we can go up to 40, 50, 60 push-ups. Keep balancing, especially uh, the region of the of the back, lower back, pelvis, and the hips. This is the middle of the body, and this exercise is, if properly done, it is very great to adjust our body and to keep it straight, to develop back the muscles and tendons around the hip region, front and back. Try to breathe regularly, don't hold your breath, don't, don't get stuck, don't get tense. And you can hold indefinitely, up to maybe three minutes even. Then, slowly, bend backward, walk slowly with feet up, left, I mean the healthy leg first, and slowly we bring the, bring the operated leg up. Relax the body. And the last exercise, the shallow squats. We open legs, um, one and a half shoulders wide. Feet outside, knees. Remember, the knees cannot go inside. They cannot go also in front of the toes. They have to go basically the line. Again, I have to emphasize the line between the knee and the foot and the instep or the, or the toes should be straight line. Otherwise, we risk injuring our knees or simply wearing, uh, wearing out our knee joints. And that is not a not pleasant situation when we have to change our knee joint in future. And this is a great exercise for inside of the hip region. Exactly the uh, ex good exercise for so-called in Chinese qua. And so on, we can go like that for about 
40, 50 times. But don't overdo. Don't force anything. For example, if you do, uh, like today I did the left, the, the leg lifts from the floor, you don't need to do, for example, uh, standing like leg lifts. So every day we alternate between the exercises. Do as much as you can, but don't, do not force anything. After the exercise, always relax all the joints. Make sure that you breathe smoothly. Breathe in, force the breath out, out. If you do it a couple of times, you will very quickly catch up your breath if you are tired and it return to balance. Thank you, that's it for today. Okay, so that was my day 24. I guess day 24, 25th, 24, uh, recovering from hip surgery. Today was really, as you see, much better. I did not plan that I will do all the exercises, but it just felt great. Um, before doing them, um, let's say now is evening. So let's say in the late afternoon, it could be, it could be morning, okay? I just, I'm just not a morning person, especially the weather is rainy and I, I don't like to do standing position in side um, indoors however i did that in the afternoon st uh, standing what i've uh, presented yesterday qigong standing uh, eight brocade um, exercise or, or eight brocade power number one holding up the heavens with both palms up i uh, did this for 30 minutes which i believe it's enough could be could be even 10 15 whatever um, follow that video. I think standing practice is very important. Maybe um, what I would like to add to it that if you do standing practice or basically when you stand, do not stand on your heels. Shift your body weight, to uh, body weight towards your toes. That's very important to keep the balance of the body uh, forward, not back, not especially in standing practice. That will affect the whole practice and um, it will be very heavy on thighs and knees. If you align your body properly, you feel it is really sub one um, bone, we could say, or one joint, yeah, one bone and joint support the next one. Okay, if you're out of line, you feel, oops, I'm using my muscles, and then uh, the, 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 especially the legs, they will, they will start to shake. It, it might be great fatigue after you finish standing practice, but just rest, sit down, lie down on the sofa for for a couple of minutes, I mean, let's say for 15, 20 minutes, uh, watch something, be lazy. You, this is, uh, you know, still less than a month uh, recovering from hip replacement. So uh, most important, we don't, we push ourselves more at this stage, okay? But we do not want to force anything, all right? We don't want to force anything, even to the point that, let's say the, the joint is all fine, but uh, you might suffer muscle inflammation or you pull your muscle slightly because it is not ready. So we, we have to be careful and do not force anything. However, do as much as you can. And, uh, and for example, the leg lift from the floor, this is my challenge. I feel pain from the number one. So it is not the reason. It, it was before it was severe pain. I couldn't lift my leg. But right now I feel pain from the, from the number one. However, it is not the reason to stop the exercise. Go through it. Try to, you know, fight the pain, if it's not severe, okay? And no painkillers. I mean, I don't recommend any painkillers. If you have to take, of course you have to. Or you have to, you know, do what you need. But I would recommend just um, pain. If it's moderate, it's very important to inform us where our body is injured. Where do we need to, which part we have to be careful with? Where do we need to put more exercise, which one, we, which place we have to be cautious and so on, so on. So moderate pain is actually, well, what is pain? It's information uh, to our brain, to, to us, that oops, careful danger, right? So take care of it. So pain, slight pain is important. But of course, pain shouldn't be consistent. If I rest or I sit or I lie on a, on a sofa or whatever, I don't feel any pain. When I, when I walk, I also do not feel any pain. So uh, it is great, and now I can confidently walk very slowly, but confidently without um, a cane. So um, I feel very happy. I wish that um, within 20 days 
all people who suffer from hip replacement um, surgery. I mean, that's it is suffering. Okay, it, it was necessary for us, but we do suffer from it. We should. Uh, I wish you that 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 all of all of us, all of people, on a day twenty can be strong, can walk like me. Um, yeah, sure. I expected it to be to be faster, but I wasn't. I never. I've never realized how much my leg will be affected. How I mean the strength of the leg, the strength of the muscle, and so on. Most important is that that we keep going on and we work the muscles up, we work the tendons up, we keep them uh, in a good condition. All right. Thank you very much. Well, uh, what's about COVID in Taiwan? Not much change. I didn't check the cases today. Uh, is nothing um, to be positive about. I see this so far kind of negative. The good thing is raining. So finally, no drought. Thank you very much. Um, keep strong, keep healthy, keep positive, And um, see you next time.